What is up guys and welcome to episode number 47 today from Ipswich Town Road to Glory Career Mode. We're on the back end of the season so probably not too many episodes left to actually know if we will win the Premier League this season because it is a very very close title race this season. Four teams in it, two points Wow, two points between everybody. That is absolutely mental for the top four, but uh, Champions League hopes are still high. Though having PSG that we found out in the last episode will be a very, very tough one to progress through as we have Newcastle here first game. But seven minutes in, Newcastle find a way through our defense, not down the right hand side and managed to beat Keller. And Newcastle are trying to fight for that European Conference League space again, though they're not doing a great job this time, as they, you know, last season, it's, uh, they were fighting for it and just fell short again. But uh, this time around, they are sort of mid-table mediocrity. But uh, yeah, trying to find a way back into this game and see what we can actually do as Bowden plays in Dolberg. Dolberg has a shot, but it gets deflected out for a corner and nothing really comes of that chance at all as Bowden gets played in yet again but turns and cannot beat Sam Johnston in goal I really did think um, when I saw Sam Johnston I thought okay he played for West Brom he's not really going to be that much of a great keeper but he has been absolutely phenomenal for them Bowden plays in Brownhill Brownhill yeah we're creating so many chances and we cannot finish them off as Bowden Plays in Dewsbury Hall. Dewsbury Hall has a shot, misses, and gets it saved yet again. Their keeper is going to be man of the match if we don't manage to find a goal past them. And yeah, Anderson, my God, Keller, are you just leaving that at your near post? I know you know it was going to go wide, but I mean, at least try and dive for it and make it look like you would have saved it. And like that one, like you were going to save it, but you did fall, pull short yet again. Um, and yeah, it's, well, it's a very tough one as we're in the five minutes left. Can we find a goal? Ramsey played in by Dewsbury Hall. Ramsey into Harris. Harris plays it on down wide into Giles. Giles into Bowden. Bowden turns near the penalty area, smashes it into the top right hand corner just to get one point from this game. I mean, we had so many chances that we should have finished off. We should have got three points out of this game. Unfortunately, we didn't. Um, we do have Everton on the second time around, and I think they'll probably look to come out at us and try and get something from their game this time around, as we did beat them last time at home. Though we are away this time at Goodison Park, so what can we do? Norton Davis making a run down the left-hand side, as no one's really chasing him, so he's got so much space to run into. He tries to find Bowden at the back post, but only pulls it a little bit short. Brownhill has a shot, but pulls it wide, and uh, yeah. So, my thinking, now the January transfer window is about to open very soon. We're going to need a new centre mid, as Brownhill, you know, his long shots aren't that great. And, you know, we've been trying a fair few long shots. So we want a centre mid that can perform some good long shots. And I think we have found him. But Everton, there we go. Carrera, 72nd minute. Not really much happened after that. And we need a striker to replace Jacob Lucas. And we found him. In Ivan Tony, we're bringing him back to the Premier League from FC Augsburg for 16 million. He's going to be a good rotation striker, and he actually wanted rotation plays or rotation contracts. That is great. And we're going to bring in a centre mid of Lewis Ferguson, the Scottish. Uh, they say the Scottish Perlo. He is a 17 million pounds worth of pure centre mid. He's got about 80 odd long shots, so hopefully we can. Um, pull off some long shots from him and he's going to fit straight into the starting lineup against Tottenham and Ivan Tony will probably get brought on as a substitute later on for Casper Dolberg and you know having Dolberg, Bowden, Tony and Harris are going to be really good strikers for each other and you know having two of each yeah really really good strikers uh, hopefully Ivan Tony can live up to my expectations that he'll be a good striker there was a few other strikers that we had in mind um, but you know we just went for Ivan Tony at the end of it I think you know bringing him back to the Premier League and giving a few good chances from FC Augsburg I think you know in that league yeah, 
bring him back to England. Go on, Ivan Tony. You can do it. You can score some goals for us. And have an oof. A nice corner from Tottenham and they managed to get a goal from that as Dan Juma puts Tottenham 1-0 in front. A nice, uh, well, Tottenham usually go up 1-0 um, against us and we usually come back. So can we do that um, as per normal? But uh, half an hour into the match, we're obviously on the pitch. And just going back to Ivan Tony again, you know, I saw him, you know, from FC Augsburg. I thought, you know, he's only about 50 mil market value. I think, you know, going up against him. 16 mil does seem quite nice. You know, we did get a B rating for um, his actual price tag, so we could have gone for 14 mil or 14.2 there or thereabouts. But you know, yeah, we had a lot of money. I think we had about 50, 60 million left in the bank from selling Jacob Lucas to Olympic Marseille, and obviously Finley Butcher has gone on loan as well to Bournemouth. And uh, yeah, Maitland Niles, uh, an unlikely goal scorer. Um, managed to come up in the attack and get his first goal for the club since joining early January, well, I say early January, late summer transfer window. And uh, yeah, it took his time, managed to get one, and uh, hopefully he can get many more from us. And uh, he's uh, Maitland Niles, just a really good player, I think. You know, realistic sub for him to come back to us from Arsenal, you know, he wasn't getting too much of a game time, Arsenal weren't doing too great either and he thought you know I'll go back to Ipswich Town they're doing better than Arsenal so I'll go back there and they'll offer me some good space as Dewsbury Hall turns and hits the post oh my god that could have been Ipswich Town's third and hopefully we would have got third it was a trying to defend uh, Tottenham Hotspur attack in the 70th minute as Colwell turned himself into a centre mid plays it into Bowden released him in and beats the Tottenham Hotspur keeper and it's gonna be 3-1 bringing all three points back home with us. Back home with us? We're at home. They're already back home with us. That's how it's going to end. Dewsbury Hall, Maitland Niles and Bowden getting on the score sheet. Now, we're going to have West Brom in the Carabao Cup semi-finals and we're going to play a nice rotated lineup and Ivan Tony is going to start for us. Hopefully, he can get off the mark in the Carabao Cup and see what he can do. This is my first real time with actually playing with Ivan Tony. And, you know, let's see how he goes and see how we get on with him. So, you know, sometimes you buy players that you think, you know, they're a good rating. He's 79 rated. It's like, yeah, he's a good rating. You know, he'll probably be a good player. But then you get players that are like 77 rated. You think, oh, he won't be that better than Ivan Tony. Then he turns out to be absolutely phenomenal. It's like Wes Burns. He's 73 rated. He's doing actually shockingly well for the rating that he is. Obviously, Maitland Niles is 78. And I would say Wes Burns, if he was a 78 rated right wing back, then my god, he would be absolutely phenomenal. As Harris manages to claw a goal back for us, making it 1 1 as West Brom got the early goal for them as Ivan Tony manages to uh, miss his chip and gets it saved but hopefully he can score here really close on I mean Ivan Tony has had so many so many chances out for us and yeah if he doesn't score this match it's going to be a shock because he's had like six or seven chances uh, for him to actually get a goal as Harris lays it off into Christensen really surprised that Harris didn't have a shot there I think his stamina you know, just went down and I thought, you know, we'll just pass it off into Christensen, who's had the more stamina and probably get his foot through the ball nice and easy and gets West Brom behind 2-1, Ipswich Town in front. And, uh, yeah, making this more of a formality now as Harris plays in Ivan Tony. Ivan Tony is going to hold off the defence and finishes it to get his goal. Finally, finally gets his goal. 90 minutes into the match, the last goal of the game, Ivan Tony gets his first goal for the Blues. Hopefully that will be many more to come and he'll probably get substituted on and uh, yeah, he'll probably make a big difference as well. As look at that, two points behind City, one point ahead of Spurs and Liverpool. It's changed round once again from last episode where City was fourth and Liverpool was top. That's how quickly it can change. And we get West Brom in the FA Cup. My God, West Brom three times in January. Then we've got Leeds, Nottingham Forest and West Brom once again in the Carabao Cup semi-final second leg. 
Hope you've enjoyed this episode. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.